Mommy, 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 mommy seekers. Hey, how are you? If nobody's told you all day, you're doing an amazing job. Thanks for coming over to Mommy Seekers International. It's a pleasure to have you. My name is Shantra Lori, and I'm so grateful to be sharing my content with you. Enjoy. Hello all, how is everybody doing? Um, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you whenever you are watching this. All right, y'all, so this is back to school time. This is back to school. Uh, we are running our course, praise God. And nothing could be more easier than the children going back to school. But I wanna spend a little time talking about the stresses of back to school moments that moms have. This dress is not like I don't have on a girdle, praise God, it's just going everywhere. Um, But y'all y'all get off my med section, praise God, y'all focus up here. Okay, so I just wanna spend a little time encouraging the moms out there that are in the mode of back to school um <laughs> back to school is not just back to school like oh my kids are gonna go back to school no it's intense training grounds for moms that are in a rush and actually that shop at the last minute for the moms that went online, you already did your shopping. Maybe you actually shopped during the summer because you was like, you know what? Leprosy is going around and I'm not having it. So let me go ahead and do my shopping. Um, actually, during the summer and let me let everybody else be in chaos at the mall, okay? Okay, so... I get to this place where now I'm realizing that we got paperwork, we got a parent teacher, um, you know, meetings to attend. We have the back and forth with the snack lunches that we're still prepping, preparing, um, the out first day outfits that we trying to get together. Even the moms that haven't gotten a chance to shop, I'm one of them, praise God. Listen, don't come for my life because um, I've been struggling, okay? Um, but it, it's, it's that time of the year, and I am so excited because, as some of you know, the journey for our eldest son, we're, but honestly, our eldest son and our middle child, our middle child is, like, still VPK status, um, so he is not ready for school yet, but our eldest son had to be homeschooled um, just because of our moving situation. And when we moved, uh, the school was already at capacity. So I was like, I'm going to homeschool him because I can't be running around with a chicken with his head cut off um, trying to find another neighbor in school for him because I had too much on my plate. So it was just easier. And um, so now we get to the place where he is headed back to school. And I'm very excited. Um, his pop-up already oh you know I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get his stuff and his grandma already you know um, uh, gearing me up for things that she wanted to do for him but one thing that I did want to discuss with you in the midst of the journey um, even this morning because I had some paperwork I had to do I was like God how am I gonna get all this paperwork done and still maintain my level of sanity for our children now because it's like okay it's not school time now so i still am in my normal routine while i'm trying to get all this paperwork all this information turned in and um all this stuff done and i'm i'm sitting here thinking of um So, my main three things I want to talk about as a stress reliever during busy, busy moments of my motherhood is this. First thing, drink your water. 
I don't care if you live in a colder climate or you live in a more hotter climate um, in the States. Maybe you are out of the country and you're watching this. Please drink your water. Take your vitamins early in the morning. Now, I'm giving you some natural tips of some things you can do. The spiritual perspective, y'all always hear a lot of my flow. So, y'all hear the things that need to be done, which is your devotion unto the Lord, prayer time. Um, you reading books to get out of your head a lot of times for a mental fog. So many times that may come over you. So, um, or even like you having distorted vision or feelings of hopelessness. You reading books and learning about other people's journey and how they overcame. Not that you can't be very uh, effective uh, in your season of life, whatever that means to you. Okay, um, so drink your water, take your vitamins, make sure you eat. Ladies, I have this issue a lot. Okay, so I am in the mode so much as a homemaker trying to rush through my day run through my day and i realize i am not eating until maybe 12 or maybe later in the afternoon so i'm literally like fasting every day and it's not my intentional intention <laughs> it's not intentional for me to do that so i may drink a cup of coffee or i may get some green tea um i'm trying to lay off coffee um but i have been drinking coffee for the past three days um, so I resorted back to it, but getting your water early in the morning, getting your vitamins, make sure you're eating in the morning, even if, okay, I'm just going to be real with you. Even if you're grabbing a fruit to go or a snack to go, like at least it's on the go. Um, so that you won't be running off of nothing because you're running off of nothing. You need creativity, girl. You need energy. Your body needs to cre keep creating. And even for those moms that you all are uh, breastfeeding, especially y'all, I cannot tell y'all how busy it was for me with my twins. Um, <laughs> I feel like mass pandemonium all the time. Um, I <laughs> Like my husband... I did not start getting out and shopping with my children until the girls, like, I think until they turned two. I think I tried it, but it was an epic fail. And I think I've been to the mall with them, but it was very rare for me to step out with both of the girls when they were babies because it was just like, so I was just homebound a lot, a lot. Um, a lot. <laughs> Did I say a lot? So, um, Josh out. Go play. Thank you. So, make sure you're drinking your water, taking your vitamins. Make sure you're grabbing something to go. It may be quick. And even if you have to, I don't know if y'all seen it on Pinterest, but there are these breakfast cups. So, if you got a muffin pan, get you some uh, meat of your choice, what you like. I like the turkey bacon or the turkey sausage, um, but there is a breakfast muffin that you can make on the go. So you can cut up your peppers or your onions and you um, oil your uh, muffin pan and then you put the meat in there first and then you put the egg in there and then um, you put all your ingredients in, maybe your cheese, whatever you want, and you cook it. Maybe I think for a little under 30 minutes, maybe 15 to 20. You cook it until it's nice and crispy. And these breakfast cups, if you are rushing, throw them in the microwave as you're getting the kids ready. So that way you can go ahead and put them in a container. You can dart out the door, okay? Um, that is a quick effort. Or an apple um, or some crackers, something. Um, but please don't go on an empty stomach into your day because you got too much to do. Um, you got too much to take care of. Um, the last thing is this. Please, 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 whatever you do, if you react out of a place of frustration with your children or frustration with someone else, repent quickly, okay? I may have to breathe. I may have to even cry and look like, okay, I'm just off the handles. 
but I know that I am doing my best to be led by the Spirit of God in a day. And I know that I can't keep myself from falling because the Bible says, see, y'all, I'll be having to edit all of these scriptures. <laughs> I don't even want to say the scripture. But the Bible tells us that, that Jesus will give us a way of escape if we want to be kept, okay? But there are times where we will heed to our own desires of frustration and not react out of love. And it takes the spirit of God to do that, but it takes also a willingness on our part to be obedient to the spirit of God leading us. Because there are things that God will tell us that you are wrong. You need to go and apologize. Um, and it will hurt in the moment because like our, our excuses, like my husband always says, your excuse is valid. But it is necessary for your children to understand that we as adults make mistakes, okay? So repent quickly to your child, to the Lord, and ask God to fill you with his spirit. So everything that you feel like you're lacking in a day, he can give you a wisdom or a grace to move in a different way than you may have moved or done um, prior to maybe, in your eyes, making a mistake. Uh, <laughs> motherhood is full of mistakes. So don't count yourself out of the race just because you make them. Uh, it is full of mistakes. And I wish somebody had told me just because I'm making mistakes, that doesn't mean that I'm not a good mom. That means that I love my children when I keep making them because I am trying to genuinely do better when it comes to my speech, how I walk and talk around my kids because I am saying that I'm a living epistle, right? Before men. So if my girls are following me, like lately, one of one of the twins, she has been on this binge with making this like mean face like. And I'm I wonder like, why are you doing that? Stop. So she'll walk up to other kids that are her age or younger. She'll be like, and I'm like, Maya, stop. And she'll do it at me. But I'm wondering, oh, mommy makes that face when she's mad at your brothers. So God is working on me, y'all. Every part of my motherhood challenges me as a woman. So now I have to learn to deal and be confrontational with my children and have to work on my face features because of what one of our twin girls is doing. Isn't that funny? So now God is challenging me in this area like, okay, well, go ahead and grow up. Because if you don't, that behavior in her is going to be consistent. And now she's going to believe that showing anger is a part of confrontation. And not that you, you can't be angry, okay? The Bible says be angry, but don't sin. Not that you can't be angry, but I believe you can bring the best version of you to a confrontational situation. And you can be an adult and speak and be assertive with and be direct without being mean. And it may come across mean, like my husband says, I can't take it how you are interpreting what I said. All I can do is share my portion, my spill. And then pray that the pieces fall where they may um, as the Holy Spirit gives us wisdom. So that's it, y'all. Um, it's back to school time. Y'all be encouraged. <laughs> y'all getting these car ride pickup lines early in the morning. Don't be beeping at these parents. Don't be beep. Listen, don't be cutting parents off and then you got to pull up beside the parent or the parent is in front of you or behind you. Listen, your child got to go to school with their child, Okay. Let's try to make peace and let's plead the blood of Jesus over our children. Let's go ahead and say a short word of prayer. God, we thank you for this new school year that our children may have already embarked on in different parts of the world or our
our nation are getting ready to experience god we thank you for your presence that is a keeper we thank you that you are putting people around our children that would help nurture and guard and protect god their rights to be a child we thank you that lord god you are putting people around them that concern about their emotional needs as well as physical needs that they see occurring and happening god we bind the spirit of the bully and we thank you that you are giving our children god an assertive behavior to understand how they feel in the moment with the bully and with the teacher as well we thank you that you are giving our children god teachers after your own heart god that are passionate for the things that you're passionate for that want to see children succeed grow and learn and develop god we pray for teachers god with a sincere heart for the child for these children whether in elementary middle or high school we plead the blood of jesus over every campus over every school god over every person every staff that is participating lord god in interacting with our children at these local schools whether private lord god or charter god we plead the blood of jesus we thank you now that you're doing something special god and we thank you that you're bringing our children before great men god that you may be exalted through their life have your way in everything that concerns them in this school year and those to come in jesus name we pray amen and amen all right god bless y'all it's back to school week take a breath you got this <laughs> All that I am or I ever hope to be, I owe to my angel, my mother. I quote Abraham Lincoln. Well, this is my spill. And thank you so much for being a part of Mommy Seekers International.